everyone, it's the Single Life Advocate. Welcome back to my channel. Super excited you're here. Today, we are at the very exclusive Fork and Films showing of Home Alone. And if you guys don't know, Fork and Film is a company that shows you a movie and tries to create different foods or creative culinary pieces to match the different scenes in the movie. I saw this on Instagram. I'll put the reel that I originally saw it from over here. It was so cool. I had to get tickets and thank the Lord I got tickets. So we are here today. We are at the, what is it, the Wayfair? I think it's like the Wayfair. We're at the Wayfair Hotel um, and they have this really pretty Christmas tree. And they have some really cool stuff like you can see books up here and all that kind of stuff. And so I am super excited to take you guys along with me and try some stuff. If you wanna get a short version of this video, then make sure you go to my shorts tab because I'll have all the individual foods. But I'm pretty sure you'll wanna stay for the full video because we have a lot in store and I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. Before this video gets started, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, join the family, and comment down below. I love you guys so much and let's go see Home Alone and eat some tasty eats. Hi. Um, I wanted to see if the, the rooftop was open. We just wanted to see it. Okay. Just uh, take the elevator. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Christmas. We're going up to the rooftop. If you're gonna see Fork and Film at the Wayfair, you're definitely gonna want to go to the rooftop. It's super cute and cozy. They have fireplaces and nice views, and it's amazing. And I honestly wish that we would have went there to grab a bite before. Whoa. Fork and Film. We're not supposed to arrive early though, are we? Yeah. Okay. Are we not supposed to be down here yet? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we're gonna go back. We are closed for a private event, guys. Oh! Hey. Uh-oh. 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 Where are we going? Hi, Hi. 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 Yes. Well, you guys will just have to give me like seven minutes if you can meet me back upstairs. I check up. Uh, check oh, you check it first. Got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's just go. So lend a helping hand. So we have our tickets. That is. This one. You're in for a sudden surprise. We got three more minutes. Go back upstairs. Seating. But it was almost three hours. Hey, hey, spot. Yeah. Six hundred dollars. I think this is a bad Christmas purchase. I'm not saying it's gonna like suck. I'm just saying like that is not. I was just excited because of the hype. So this is a lesson. Don't just fall for the hype. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Even if the hype kind of beats it, the price that you're paying for the hype, 90%, okay, 60% of the price is hype, 40% of the price is the actual event. So just take that into consideration when you make decisions because then you'll end up where we are. <laughs> Which I don't know if you haven't experienced the event yet, so I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but being sick for over seven minutes, we can't just stand or sit down there is a little bit giving it might be overpriced. We got both options for you. Now downstairs for the next like hour or so, we're gonna have complimentary champagne and you know hanging out. The movie doesn't start just yet. Okay. And then we also have non-alcoholic champagne and you know yeah, if you don't want any of those, then we also can get you like you know maybe a soda or something. Okay. Else. For every girl and boy. My VIP right. band. Okay. And then just show them those wristbands. They'll get you to your seat. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, of course, everyone. Basement. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> ready? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Once we arrived and checked in, the first thing that they had us do was go over to the small table where a kind waitress offered us either alcoholic or non-alcoholic champagne, and then we went to our seats. Thank you. Enjoy. We have. Non real champagne, so it's like a mocktail version of champagne. We have the menu, which is right here, and then when you open it, it has the list of everything we're having tonight. So cute, and that is the screen, so we're like front and center, essentially, almost. Hi, 
Hi, I'm wondering, do we get one of those ornaments? We saw somebody with an ornament. Yeah, if you wanted to grab one, it's a cranberry juice and orange juice. Oh, that's genius. That's so cute. Like little mimosa juice. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Feel free to grab one. Yeah, one. okay. I'm gonna grab. Got it. Yay, thank you. No problem. <laughs> Very little cute and little. It's orange juice one. And cranberry juice. You wanna try this? Okay. This could be apple juice, fermented apple juice. Is it fermented apple juice? Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> we had a pot right there. Why does anyone like champagne? No, but it's a mock champagne, which means that real champagne is like a Excuse my language. No. You would just be ordering champagne and look like a fancy people in the movies. Ain't nobody gonna like that. I mean, it was a good mock one. I can't. But that guy, I can only imagine how horrible the real one is. Just get a, a fancy mocktail or that the thing we got uh, when we went with Auntie. We get that instead. Don't get the. But I like the idea that they, they went for the. You know, they went for it, so. Let's try the popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn flavor, 10 out of 10. Okay, so mommy just ran up to the parking garage because apparently something is on fire in the parking garage where we parked. So she's gonna go check and I will give you guys an update when she gets back. Parking car fire update. We're all good, it was not near our car. Thank you, Jesus. So I had my camera off, but I just met the owner and this is from Home Business, guys, so you definitely have to come to Fork and Bone. I'm saying this before I even fully experienced it, but I'm already just, I just feel like cool. Like I didn't know it was a brand business, but yeah. They have these cute little menus, and it's like customized for every event. And I heard from my owner personally that the first reel that I ever saw that was about Fork and Film was the Ratatouille one, and he was saying that was very straightforward because you just kind of follow what the movie says. But this meal menu, or this movie menu, they had to get really creative. So you can see some of the options on there. And then for every alcoholic option, there's a non-alcoholic version. So, yeah. And so we had the non-alcoholic champagne, which... I mean, mommy loves it. She says 10 out of 10. I don't like the, I don't like the concept of champagne. It's just like, mm, but it's not alcohol. So if you're a champagne lover and you don't, then yeah. I'm not a lover of it. Or you, yeah. <laughs> she just likes, she's not even a lover of it. Well, a lover of champagne and she likes it. So, so what's next? But yeah, I'm excited for this menu. It's gonna be good. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, some more water. Ooh. Any chance? Seasoned greetings, it's fresh mozzarella, tomato, and basil, just a locally sourced balsamic. Oh, okay. thank you. Mm -hmm. This is cute. Yeah. Hair just came out of my mouth. Are you sorry? Yeah. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> wow. That's my nose out? Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So obviously having hair in your salad is not ideal. However, I have to say that Fork and Fill Management took care of it right away. They were so sorry. And so I'm thankful for that. And they were able to give me a brand new salad. Okay, so they were so kind and they brought me another one. So, okay, more for me. <laughs> that we are aware that there is a fire. However, it is out and under control. However, you will might get that pungent smell in here. However, just know it's because of the surrounding airways from the outside of the building. It is under control and we are safe. Hooray. Yeah. So, before we get started, I do have to give top secret information. Wi-Fi password. Every one of you are about to be the main characters of this movie, so please uh, get ready, relax, and we'll go ahead and get the movie started shortly. I do want to go ahead and give a disclaimer. If your menu says that there's dry ice in the first course, it is not, it's a lie. There's no dry ice, so you're all good, you're all safe. Okay, however, in one of our dishes, we do have a sparkler. Please allow for that sparkler to diffuse before enjoying your dish. So let's go ahead, for further ado, let's go ahead and get the movie started. Enjoy. Yay, thank you. The first item of the movie is the Snowflake Shovel Sipper. It originally comes with cream, dark rum, and mango cart. However, mine was a virgin one, and so it did not come with those things, but it was still absolutely delicious, and I loved every single sip. The third item on the menu was my absolute favorite. It was pizza, 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 and it was absolutely delicious. I loved how they went above and beyond to have the box custom made and to have the little receipt that said veggie pizza on it. I also liked that it was veggie because you didn't have to worry about there being pork since I don't eat pork, and you didn't have to worry about there being any lack of flavor because they aced that with flying colors. Maybe he's just trying to be nuts. One of the best things about Fork and Film is that they time the arrival of the food so perfectly with the movie. We were eating pizza while they were eating pizza. Also, who was going to tell me that the bad guy was a police officer in the beginning? I'm just now figuring that out. Like, what? Next on the menu was the Junk and Rubbish Sunday, a vanilla bean ice cream and chocolate balsamic dessert that was perfect. It even matched the red bowl that he had in the movie. We had one too, which is another great thing about Fork and Film. They really do care about the details and they try to make your experience as authentic as possible. You are eating what the character is eating and that is very special. Remember those shrimp cocktail in the movie? The ones that were for later? Well, guess what? We get to eat them now. This is Those Are For Later, a chilled steamed shrimp that Fork and Film creatively paired with Penzanella salad. It's delicious, fresh flavor, added a uniqueness to the dish and I have to say that the trip was a little bit of a different story, but let me explain why. First time. First time trying to It's just I love the cheese pizza just for me. It's like not flavor. It's like lemony. <laughs> not my favorite, not a shrimp cocktail, yeah. Stand back and relax because next are the firecracker ribs. They are a red wine and cranberry braised beef short rib that is yummily paired with a brown sugar glazed carrot and comfit garlic mash. Watch them sparkle and shine as you wine and dine and watch Kevin set some traps for the burglars. Another pair of you know, like a hedgehog. Now you're like an 8, 9, and 10. Really good, man. It's got potatoes and carrots. Third to last on the menu were the Christmas tree cosmos. Mine was just cranberry juice, but normally it comes with cranberry, lime, simple syrup, and alcohol. Yuck. Not the best cranberry juice in a head, but not the worst either. Sugar makes it better. I give it a 6, 7 out of 10. For presentation, 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Mm. 9, 10. But. Second to last was the Christmas Eve mac and cheese, which was a three cheese mac and cheese with cheddar, parmesan, and mozzarella with toasted breadcrumbs. Fork and Film took Kraft mac and cheese and jazzed it up a smidge. I'm gonna six out of ten. What? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Just when you thought the treats were done, there's another one, and this one's called Santa's Sweet Bites. It's a brown butter M&M cookie served with a warm cup of brown sugar milk tea. Ooh, I like it. Mm. Milky brown sugary. Nice. 
the other. The other. The other. That's going to be the end of this video, friends. Though I at first questioned the price, the experience at the end was worth it. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.